Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. In our previous videos, we saw how to import and export data from SQL, Excel and back to you know SQL. In this video, I'll show you how to import the data from uh, Excel to SQL. Uh, it is similar to my previous video where I just imported a sheet from Excel to SQL. But here there can be some different kind of scenario where you know in one sheet can have uh, different kind of data arranged in a different manner or we can say some unstructured data so I'll show you one example in my previous video we saw this excel file okay so employee table uh, what I'll do is I'll um, you know first of all try to just sort this data okay and let me just first of all sort it yeah so now what I'll do is I'll copy the first 10 records including these many columns okay copy and paste in the sheet one okay so how many columns I have one two three four five six seven eight columns and another set what I'll do is I'll just copy these three columns and 15 rows or probably one 15 rows Okay, here okay so now if I have my data in this kind of format right so this sheet sheet number one I have and I have data in this kind of format like one set is here with eight number of columns and one set here with three number of columns so how can I do this in a single way or even if I have to do it multiple times uh, how can I do it because Excel will get confused by seeing this kind of data right so uh, um, there is one way to do that so we have to create uh, sets or ranges so what you have to do is you have to select this whole set and right click and give it a name right so this is a range and we'll give it a name as set one uh, here we cannot give a number can it starts with a letter or underscore and doesn't include space or a character okay so I'll just put one set one and this I'll name as set 2 right click define name and set 2 okay so my work is done in Excel I'll just need to save this file and even I can close this also I'll open SSMS and the same thing I have to do go to import export wizard from database so again I'll choose the MandyB database you can choose anyone go to task click on import data click on next you have to check your select your data source it is Excel okay and give the path of the file okay and don't forget that you know your first row has column names click on next my destination is my SQL server so I'll scroll at the bottom and choose SQL Server Native Client here you can just select the server name as well as the database name click on next and just keep it default click on next and here it will give you option so here you can see right set one and set two that we created so just click on these if you want to change these names you can even do it here but I'll just you know, leave them as it is or let, let's say we I wanted this set one as like this and set two as like this so I can even change the name of the table these the, ta the two tables will get created with these two names not the names in Excel I'll click next next and finish you will see here 10 rows transferred and 16 rows transferred success close it I will go to tables and refresh it you will see the two tables coming here okay now let's check the content so select the star from set 1 see you will see these 8 columns with 10 records and in set 2 we will have 3 columns with 16 records sorry set 2 three columns with 16 records so I hope you will find it useful and uh, so this is a very rare scenario and I face this so I try to create a video for this one for you guys please let me know how do you feel about it and if there is any other method thank you for watching this video please like please let me know your comments and please subscribe thank you very much have a nice day